So even though that you see the snow outside, wedding season truly is around the corner because it's really shifted from summer to starting in May. So if you are the bride, a guest, or you are part of the wedding, you need to start thinking about those fabulous up -dos or down -dos. I have Margaret Harrison here, mobile hairstylist, owner of Hair I Go. You are going to talk to us about Looking early, and you're going to show us a demonstration yes. on beautiful model Ilka. <laughs> yes, <laughs> gorgeous hair. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so tell us tell us a little bit about about wedding season and getting prepared okay. with the hair. Yeah, so it's important to book in advance for wedding, especially a wedding party. Um, the more people you have, the more time we need, so it has to be booked in advance. Um, so I suggest people about a year before start talking about it. That's really a important. Year. Okay. Yeah, um, just so they. They don't have to pick a style, but they have to have dates and mm -hmm. confirmation on people that are coming and um, so that the staff can be ready and uh, prepare, right? So because I'm mobile, I like to know in advance. Um, and if I need to make a makeup artist to follow, and that can all be accommodated, mm -hmm. right? That's true. Yeah. And I guess it makes a huge difference on how many people are in that wedding party. It right? does. You have huge <laughs> ones and then you have tiny little ones. That's where, right. Yeah. So I have one this year of eight or nine and I'm doing it by myself. So we'll start early and we'll finish um, probably an hour before so that they have time to go back and get ready. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if if I'm doing it, I need to know in advance and be prepared. Uh -huh. um, and in a salon too, right? You have to be prepared. You have to um, know how many people are coming so you can staff it appropriately. Right. Yeah. So you've already sort of started prepping with Ilka's right. hair, right? Yeah. Um, so, tell us what you do. So with um, generally any type of updo, you've got to have a, a roller set or some type of body or curl in there. So in Ilka's hair, um, I didn't see her last night, so she threw some curls in it for me. There's a different mm -hmm. um, size barrel of curling irons you can use. Um, her hair is fine, but there's mm -hmm. a lot of it. The yes. weight of it's heavy. I would normally put her in a roller set, um, not a tight curl, just a big bouncy curl just to get some waves and stuff happening in there. Uh -huh. um, so that's basically what she has in there now. And then this piece here, I basically have elastic, but I, I put some back combing okay. into this piece of her hair. And a tiny little elastic. Yeah, just so we can hide all that after okay. and then basically what I want to do is I the styles this year are quite soft and flowy um, very uh, just very natural looking not anything really overdone so I'm just gonna mess around here and do a little bit of twisting and I'll show you a couple so that comb that you have here I just want to show people because mm -hmm. uh, that's a unique comb here so this is a back comb yeah, that's a great comb for back combing. Um, it has little teeth inside, so when you uh, back comb, it it whoop, there we go. gets a little bit of friction between there, and okay. it ruffles the hair up underneath, which is good. That's what we want. Um, and this is good for what, like separating the hair and divi yeah, dividing it up? Yeah, it's kind of a up? pick, so you can stick it in and lift up the hair when you're looking for height. Okay. You can stick it in and pull up on it. Gives you some height in the hair as well. Um, so that's that's a really good tool to have or some people just use um, like a tail comb like the pink one there uh -huh. just to uh, get the picture I prefer the other one but that's you know some people use that um, I use a tail comb yes yeah like this. yeah you can use whatever you're comfortable with um, oh sorry there so you're twisting her hair. You're just taking little sections yeah, and so, you're twisting it around and then pinning it? Yeah, so basically this year with, with brides, what's really um, popular mm -hmm. is sectioning, lots of different sections in the hair so it's uh -huh. not all pulled back, smooth and straight, a lot of height, a lot you of different sections. turn your head a little bit? Yeah, so Let's we can do it that oh, way. Oh yeah, there you can really see that. So sectioning is a really big thing. People uh -huh. want to see that this year. That's a really... Um, and then, of course, this here, you could keep it down if you wanted. Uh -huh. um, you can put a hair piece in there, or you can start and put it up as well and have curls down, um, which I'll do just to give you an idea. I like that looseness mm -hmm. to it. So you see a lot of girls, too, like they'll have the half up, half down. Right. Like, I don't know, what's the most popular? Um, or how do you on, decide? Like, how do you decide? You know what? That's a big thing. Usually, if it's summertime and you have a lot of really thick, heavy hair, um, weather is a big indicator. Right. Um, whether things are going to stay in and how they're going to look. Also, to um, the weight of the hair. Some people want their hair up, depending on how hot it's going to be. Um, generally, though, you, you need to just kind of move it around to what works for them. And I guess it depends on, you know, I guess the veil. 
Yes, veil the, on the head height, pieces. The size, the, yeah. yeah. The, whatever yeah. hair pieces going in there as well. Definitely flowers or um, halos or whatever is going in the hair. Uh -huh. um, you definitely have to work that around the hairstyle, uh, right? I like how you just use that comb to lift it yeah. up. Yeah, so this is this is where this pick comes in really handy. I can okay. pull it and maneuver it around a little bit. Yeah. The whole thing with the styles, as I say, is this should be loose, very flowy, uh -huh. not tight. We want to have these really nice and flowy. Now, I don't know if you can see the back or not. Um, and then the front, we can move that around can too. Can you turn towards me a little bit? There. There. Oh, there you really So I, I yeah. pulled the back up, but... Yeah. Ideally, you could keep it down, half up, half down. Um, you can kind of move it around to what she would like. Even the sides here, you can even pull these back really lightly mm -hmm. because the whole point is to be very soft and flowy. So I can take this little curl, and again, you can see the section, the little section. Mm -hmm. Can you see that on that side where everything is divided? Pretty. You've got little. I like that. Yeah, and this too very softly pulled back. So I guess um, whoever is getting their hair done should really be speaking to you about prepping it, possibly even the night before. Yeah. Do they wash it? Do they not? Right, and then that's the other thing too is trials. Some people, if you have, especially the bride, not so much the the wedding party, but if you have a style in particular that you would like to have done, mm -hmm. it's nice to have pictures ahead of time. Um, to be able to discuss what you need to do the night before, put a roller set in if there's eight of them. Right, I can't right. do them all in one, you know, mm -hmm. under a dryer for an hour. Um, so I have to have that all done ahead of time. So a trial is a really good way to start. Mm -hmm. um, you can do a, a trial of what you're going to do the day of. Yeah. Make notes. Um, so that's all kind of organized. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you know how you have, you know how much time you have for what you'll need that day. Right, so do you also need to prep the night before with certain gels or mousse? Right, so usually I get them to wash their hair the night before because you you kind of want hair that's been slept on or a little bit little of bit body in it, and I don't want them showing up with wet hair right. because then I have to blow dry it and there's yeah. no time for that. So if, it's, if there's mousse or gel or some kind of product put in it, it can be styled the night before the night before that's done right. and then when I see them I can accommodate spritz it down wrap rollers in so it's it's not as long drying hair that's been just spritzed as opposed to soaked from root down right now you already did Julia we're gonna yes. have Julia come on to the show take yeah. a look. oh beautiful it's so cute so Julia's is just showing again um, just the different uh, just different techniques with it's kind of coming braids. a little bit loose now <laughs> So can we turn your, let's turn you around so everyone can see the back of how beautiful so, yes. it is. So Julius is just showing the idea with braids are really popular this year too. So this is just one braid in here right. um, and then you hide it and then you bring little ones across and some curls. Pretty easy for a little girl um, and it, it looks yeah, nice it with, the, with the braids in there. Yeah. So pretty. Um, how do you decide on the curling iron? Like, you've got the different barrels here. Right. Obviously, one's going to do a larger one than the other one. Right. So, this, this particular one, actually, this one here, I used on Ilka. I think you used one, didn't you? One of these, at, like a bigger size one at I home? I used a small one. Did you home. use, like, a small one? I did, even smaller than that Oh, my one. goodness. Yeah, okay, so... Really was that, small. like, a one inch? Yeah. And so, this particular one I just used, so it was fresh, but she used a smaller one at home, so okay. it... it fell out a lot okay. um, so her hair doesn't hold the curl as well she right. would definitely be a candidate for a roller set if she was getting married and I wanted it to <laughs> stay in all day yeah it would be a roller set and hairspray okay um, but this is the one that I used a one inch um, on somebody with a really thick hair that maybe has a bit of a curl to it even mm -hmm. you want to smooth the curl out you want it to big it be big and bouncy not fuzzy and tight right. so this one's a good one um, or I guess I would use this one. Uh -huh. um, this particular one I would use for somebody who needs a little extra. Okay, we, ha we have to go. This is gorgeous. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you, girls. We will be right back because we have actually a great gift giveaway yes. uh, from last week's show. So you need to stay tuned because we're drawing for it. And we're going to take a look at another huge gift that she's put together. Stay tuned. <laughs> 